Hey guys, Kyano one slash Love and Star fan here, back with another video. So, I'm about to show you something. My bed is a mess. And, yeah, I don't mind the lighting pillow. That is a thinking chair from Blue's Clues, right? This is blue. And I'm, I decided, three year old me decided, let's make a notebook of the... Let's make a handy dandy notebook. <laughs> <laughs> I was bored. It's summer. I have nothing else to do. So I drew the thinking chair. It looks much better in person than it does on camera. If we focus, you can kind of see it. I've eleven pages in here, and I'm surprised it turned out so well. What? Oh my god! I haven't really zoomed in. Oh my god! So it's one page drawn, including that one if you want. Oh my god! It's starting to break. Oh no! Oh no! Just. I can just add more salt tape to it if I need to. So I have so many pages. Look, look, I, I drew this one first and then I cut it out. And then I use this as a reference in this book. That's my first drawing and thinking chair. Then my second drawing and that's my third one. The second one is better. So just ripped out a few of these pages, cut the lines off here and drew it out. And then cut this off and bada bing, bada boom. Handy dandy notebook. Because... If you don't know already, I'm having a Blue Screws Marathon. So I just, what is, I, I had nothing else better to do with my time. <laughs> Thanks for that, Blue. So I just decided, let's make a handy dandy notebook. That I can make more. Yay. Okay. I think I'm going to add some more solitaire to it, actually. One sec, guys. Okay, so I just added some more tel uh, tele-tape, tele-tape, tele-tape around the side here. And I'll be using this now. Well, maybe I will, maybe I won't, depending on my mood when I'm watching Blue's Clues. If I'm just, you know, it's late, it's like 12 o'clock in the morning and I'm still on my laptop, I'll probably put on Blue's Clues and if I want, and it'll just be there because I'm bored and because I want to relive some nostalgia. But we won't be watching it with Josh. No, we'll be watching with Steve. Does anybody else remember Kevin? Am I the only one who remembers Kevin? Who was, like, the last Toast Blues Clues before it stopped. He was the United States version, which I got. Oh, Kevin was a legend. I don't think I liked Joe that much. Or maybe I just never got his episodes. But I just don't like him now. So... Yeah, so it was a DIY thing of like making notebook. Look, look, yep. And that's the finished one right there. So I decided, why not make your own? You're bored. You, it's summer. You already played. Most of the day playing Assassin's Creed 2 on the PlayStation 3. Finding Nemo, that's too hard. No, genuinely, the game is so hard for no reason. Black Flag just does not work anymore. Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Assassin's Creed 3, that one is so bad, boy. It's so bad. It's so bad. It's so bad. Um, Assassin's Creed 1, oh my god. I, the story looks amazing. But, one thing that bu bugs me, the other thing, no subtitles, I I love subtitles, I love subtitles, and there's no subtitles, I'm gonna go out of camera, okay, I love sub subtitles, there's no subtitles, and it's really annoying, I hate it, and another thing, when you're on the horse, because I love horses, I named the black one with like the little diamond on his forehead beauty because it just is a lovely horse and I love it. Anyway, it takes so long to get past the guards. Because you have to walk on the horse and you can't even jog. You can't run because otherwise they will attack you. So you have to walk and it takes forever. And it's just so hard. And he can't even swim. He dies when he touches water. Even flipping Ezio can swim. Why can't Altair swim? Yeah. It's very annoying, so I've just given up on that game completely because it takes too long and I couldn't be arsed. So, yeah. 
Simpsons play that one too much. L.A. Norway are a detective. It takes... It's kind of hard now. It's, and, yeah. I wouldn't be a very good detective. Oh, well. So much for blue clues. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. So, I'm just waiting. So, my brother gets a PlayStation 5, so I get his PlayStation 4. You know what? No, no. I'm actually waiting for the next time we go to Blackpool Shopping Centre. So, then... I can go into one of the shops where they sell second-handed games that are not scratched. Like, the, I got the Lego movie game in there because I remember when I was seven, we had a house fire. <sighs> too bad I didn't know what, lo- too bad Lone Star wasn't around then. TK could have came to my rescue. TK! Sorry, I know. I know, obsession. That reminds me, before I get back onto the house fire thing. Um, my mom sent me this TikTok and she's like, is this TK now who came out as bisexual? And I was like, yeah. She sent me a video and oh, it warmed my heart. And he was like, I recently came out as bisexual and then he blah, blah, blah. And I was like, you little baby. And they said, I can finally be Ronan, period. <gasps> that warmed my heart and it broke it at the same time. <sighs> because he, like, he wouldn't allow himself to express it or embrace it or anything. And then he finally did. And it was some of the Ternals fans and his family and his friends, but mainly the Ternals fans. And I'm really happy because, like, I helped him out and it was great. Oh, he's a baby. I love him. He's a baby. I love him. I love him. Even off screen, he's a baby. Even, like, not even in the show, he's a baby. In real life, he's a baby as well. He's just a baby. This little boy right here, as my home screen, is a baby. Baby. What else is he? Comfort character. What else is he? A cute little baby. Carlos. Carlos is just hot. I'm gonna say it. I'm just gonna come right out and say it. He's just hot. Like, literally, he makes all the female fans go, Oh my god, you're so hot. <laughs> and he's actually gay in real life, which is so cute. Oh, they're cute little babies. Carlos, babies. TK, baby. Carlos, baby. All I have to say. That's literally all I have to say. Anyway, going back to the housewife. So, um, one of my family members' friends let us live in their house for a little bit. They were gone on holiday anyway, so it was grand. And, um, we decided, hmm, let's go at her children's Xbox. So we're playing their Xbox 360, and we found the Lego Movie game, and it was fierce one, to say the least. So then, I wanted it for the PlayStation 3, because if it was on the Xbox 360, it had to be out on PlayStation 3. So I went to that shop, and I got the Lego Movie game, and um, I'm hoping I can get Ice Age 3, Dawn of the Dinosaurs game, because I just had a phase for Ice Age during lockdown. Actually, binge watched 1 to 5, like, all I could. Um, bef- not before school, because I got up at like half eight. <laughs> anyway, um... <clears throat> During lunch, during big lunch, after school, didn't even bother doing homework until like 8 o'clock at night because I wasn't going into school in the morning. It was fine. I could do it on break if I needed to, you know. It was grand. So I was just binge watching and it was great. Would you believe I'm actually finished first year? I can't get off that fact. It is so funny because I just get to watch the little kids every day come home from primary school and it's so funny. Because I'm like, haha, you're still in school. I'm at home chilling in hoodies in, you know, just in bed until like 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock in the morning. Staying up until like 2 a.m. because I get really tired now because of like I'm nearly 14 and you get really tired as a teenager of this period. And so I, I get to binge watch, re, no, re binge watch. All my hair shows, including 911, 911 Lone Star, Blue's Clues just having a marathon. I could watch Ice Age now, technically. I could rewatch all the Avengers movies that I didn't actually watch because I got into them after watching Spider Man and Black Panther, and then I skipped straight to Endgame. I didn't even watch Infinity War, and all I knew that Spidey was dead, and I was crying because I loved him because he's what got. Tommy McGuire is actually what got me into Marvel. Would you, would you believe that? Watching original 2002 Spider Man with Tommy McGuire. Got me into it. And then we're going to get Spider-Verse thing. And one Spidey is going to die apparently. So. <clears throat> I'm betting. It's going to be Tobey Maguire. And they're going to kill off the OG. You know what? They could kill off Andrew Garfield. I mean he's kind of irrelevant. Like. 
I mean, he's a good actor in fairness, like, literally, he's, he's brilliant. But, like, he wasn't the greatest Spider-Man to just kill him off. <gasps> if they kill... If they kill Tom Holland off. That's it. That's it. That, 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 that's it. No, 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 no. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna ball. I'm gonna ball if they kill off um, Tobey Maguire as well. Andrew Garfield, I'll probably cry, but like I won't care as much. But Tobey Maguire and Tom, they, they have to. They have to live. Please kill off Andrew. But no, 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 no. They're gonna kill off either Tom or Toby. And please don't kill off Tom. Tom is a legend. I love him. Okay. So. I'm literally having a Blue's Clues marathon. Because like look 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 look. I'm going to go on to here. Oh my god it's not loading. Ugh, it's Mailbox's birthday anyway. It's from the first one with Steve. Here's where I am in it. Steve. Now he was an absolute legend. Did you know he's actually a writer for Blue's Clues and You. Which is the reboot. And then he appears, sometimes he appeared on the Christmas episode and I was and I actually cried. I was like, Steve! I literally cried because he appeared and I was like, it's a lecture to himself here. Joe, he was he had more screen time than Steve, which is totally unfair because Joe, I do not like him. I do Why why isn't Kevin why isn't Kevin in it? I mean, yeah, he hosted a different version, but he was still a horse. Why like He's he's not dead. He's alive. Why? Kevin is just as important as Steve and Joe. Like, but like Kevin just doesn't get a spot. Like, no, no, the kids will know. None of the kids will know who Kevin is. Only, only me and my older sisters know who Kevin is. Nobody else. I'm alone. <gasps> if any of you guys who know who Kevin is, I love you. If you know who Kevin... You can't Google him, that's different. You have to have watched the show. You can't just Google him and be like, Oh, I know who he is. You have to have known him from the minute I mentioned his name. If you did, I love you. If you didn't, well, I'm alone. Cool. I just want to point out, this is actually kind of my favourite dog picture that I have hanging up on my wall. Uh, a little bit. Because it reminds me of this baby over here. And it reminds me of Carlos as well. And it reminds me of Paul. Who is not just transgender in the show. 911 Lone Star. He's transgender in real life. Which like makes me love him even more. <laughs> so it reminds me of baby TK. Oh, stop please focus. Reminds me of baby TK. Baby Carlos. And Paul. Paul is not really a baby to me. So yeah. Anywho, that's pretty much gonna be it for this video. Um, made a hand in the notebook because of what else did I have better to do with my time, and I can easily make more, so it's gonna be great. I probably just take off the first page, and you know keep that, and then just like you know use the little other notebook thing that I have. Okay, um. That's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did, that means a lot because it was just a full on mumbo jumbo video. So, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Bye, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for 1.27k plus subs. That means the absolute world to me. I mean, how did I even get this far? Only God knows. Like, only God knows how I got that far. Like, I was happy with flipping thin. And then we came up to like 300. I was like, what the? F and then to hear that we get to 800. Mind completely. I have no brain anymore. Because it's been blown so many times. By all of you. You amazing people. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you next time. Bye.